With me now is Caitlin Merriman from Walking Mountain Science Center. We're talking about hunting, and especially now, it's approaching fall, and yeah. hunting season is about to begin. Yeah, exactly. And we, because of that, are doing a science behind hunting um, tomorrow night, Wednesday night at Walking Mountains. Um, we're gonna be looking at the land ethics and science behind hunting, what you do up to the moment that you kill an animal, basically how you obtain a license, why there are so many licenses in so many regions, how the state divides up our state into different hunting zones, um, and how the lottery system works, and then we'll take it there from the moment you kill the animal, how to properly field dress it, um, and then what you can do with meat processing options and how to even preserve your hide through tanning or taxidermy. Um, so we're gonna be looking at the whole picture. Mm -hmm. I really like that you're gonna go over everything that you can do with a kill because maybe some people don't know that they can use every single thing exactly. um, from an elk and that can last somebody a year. If they have a small family and they can use that, they can freeze yeah. it up and then continue to eat that meat all the way into winter and summer of next year exactly. as well. Exactly, yeah, and you have a lot of options too as far as even doing the tanning or the taxidermy yourself if you want you know, to keep the animal as a trophy and then to keep that meat and have it for yeah, an entire year or more to come to feed your neighbors and your family. There's a lot that I think you know, we wanna let people know about it, as well as the ethical point of view too, up into you know, being able to use every part of the animal, being able to obtain everything you know, legally and safely, and even some wilderness survival skills of what to do if you get lost, how to read a topographical map. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot that goes into it. Here are a few photos of some people going out and doing some hunting. Let's talk a little bit about the ethics and the land ethics. How do they divide up hunting areas specific to hunters? Well, it depends on, um, they, the state monitors the herds depending on the animals um, for where the regions are in the state. And so they allow a certain number of tags for these animals depending on how big the herds are. Um, and so we're gonna learn a lot more about that tomorrow night, about how they actually monitor the herds, how they divide the land based on those herd numbers. Um, and then, you know, people have been hunting for thousands of years and this is, you know, the first time that people aren't doing it for survival necessarily. It's become sort of a sport. And mm -hmm. so we want to talk about the ethics behind sport versus survival and all of those interesting factors. So how does the state divide up um, tags? How do they allot those to hunters? Um, I'm not exactly clear on the entire process. So that's going to be part of tonight. We have two hunting guides, um, a longtime hunter in the area, and they're going to be coming in and talking about all that information and letting us know what goes into it as far as behind you know, the scenes where the state is dividing that up, um, as well as what happens out in the field. Because there is a limit. You can't just exactly, go yeah. out on a spree. <laughs> no, there's a bag limit and there's a lot of you know, monitoring and science that goes in behind what your bag limit's going to be, what you can walk away with at the end of the day. So, yeah, they're going to come So this is going to be tomorrow night? Tomorrow night, yep. It's 6.30 at Walking Mountains. Mm -hmm. And where can we go to get a little bit more information about the event? Sure, our website, walkingmountains.org, um, and then you can even backslash SB Science Behind, and it'll let you know all of the events that we have coming up for that, because so, this is a monthly series. So okay. this month is hunting, next month we have something else. Mm -hmm. I love that you're going to do the hunting uh, segment right before hunting season starts. Yep, so exactly. get a little bit of education about yeah. hunting with Walking Mountain Science Center. Again, that's tomorrow night at Walking Mountains in Avon. And that's at 630 walkingmountains.org for more information. Coming up, we have some more info on The Bookworm, one of my favorite bookstores in town. We'll be right back. <laughs> 